Late last week, the Risington community opened a more permanent avenue to the rest of Hawke's Bay with the blessing and celebration of a Bailey Bridge. I'd just like to thank everybody that has uh, worked so hard in the last four weeks to get the Bailey Bridge up. It's been incredible. See our engineers, our contractors, our roading teams, the Hastings District Council team, uh, everybody pulling together to get this work done. And this Bailey Bridge has gone up in four weeks. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Next week will be Dartmoor and Alice Wallace Colvert. And so we're really excited about it, to reconnect our rural communities once again. The Low River Crossing was wonderful. But one always had to keep an eye on the sky because if it rained and the river came up, then that crossing was isolated. The evening of the cyclone, this bridge that has stood for over 100 years got washed away, completely isolating this community. The next bridge down the valley also got isolated. So this left all of these families without access. They didn't have food and water available in their homes. They had no food and water. So. The first step we did, we did here was to create a raft crossing so people could hop on a raft and be pulled across the river. The next step was the low level crossing, but that was very limited. The Risington community took it into their own hands to put together a pulley system over a wire and a raft to be able to get supplies across the river. So obviously we lost both of our bridges, the Risington and Dartmoor Bridge. 700 odd people up the Kaweka sort of subdivision were all cut off. For a long time the only way that we were getting supplies was either via a helicopter drop or over the river on a raft. A huge amount of community donation and support from our urban cousins in town. We're bringing out supplies to the Risington bridge and getting it across on the raft which was all run by locals, the local fire team, the Absaloms and just yeah, community members chipping in and doing a roster system to get, to get that gear across. Normally with the bridge stock when it comes to Bailey bridges you're quite limited throughout the country and the key to here was actually creating sort of up to 40 metre spans are quite efficient otherwise if you go over 40 metres you're going to end up using a lot more stock that could be used elsewhere so that's why we have the two spans here because it was such a, a gap of 54 metres you know, to actually bridge it like that is more efficient for not just us but the rest of the communities that need stock? Oh it's massive, it's, it's access, it's a way for everyone to be able to start rebuilding their lives I guess, get back up on their feet and not have to rely on outside help I guess, not having to rely on people having to get supplies for them, being able to make that trip into town. I know um, you know, we've been seven, seven weeks out here, there's still an element of anxiety I think of people bit nervous to make their first trip into town but it, it's massive, it's a, it's a start and it means that we can get some proper stock trucks in and out, just things that we haven't been able to do yet that's going to take a massive pressure off the farmers and the rural communities out here to be able to start making some proper headway and, and get heavy supplies and stuff in so that people can start working within their farm gate as well.